check out the interior of this shall be gt500 so you have a pretty standard looking steering wheel but there's a lot of buttons on it there's way too many buttons on it anyway you have a uh, letter stitching at least that's nice i love the snake logo that's not uh, beautiful um, digital dash of course um, carbon fiber parts here on the dash around the uh, central console the computer display it could have been a little bigger it looks very small and of course lots of lots of buttons everywhere you have you know uh, a knob here to select the gear electronic parking brake and uh, yeah some cup some cup holders and that's pretty much it on the dash here you can see the shelby gt500 logo and the carbon fiber details i love it the seats are nice i like the front seats but the rear seats they're just um they're just there like it's like they're not for daily use of course anyway uh this is actually not a really bad car the build quality is fine there's just too much plastic everywhere and uh yeah it's a ford mustang that's you know that's how much i expect from uh the gt500 but I am a little surprised by what they did to the engine. So let's have a final look at the interior before we move out. And uh, yeah, the front seats are nice. They were comfortable. They're sports seats, uh, full of Alcantara and leather parts. Anyway, let's you know close the door and have a look at the exterior. So you can get this car for around 480,000 dirhams, which is roughly the same price of a, a Nissan GTR. Anyway, this has a 5.2 liter V8, uh, which is supercharged to 760 horsepower. That is insane. A little too much, honestly. I don't know how much you know people can control that much power. Uh, next to it, we have the new Mustang Mach 1. Anyway, let's have a closer look at uh, the Shelby first. So you, you can see that it's basically designed on the pre facelift model. Uh, you can tell from the headlights and. Uh, yeah you have some air intakes here and you'll notice that there's a little more you know more gap here that's because they made the body a little wider you know just to make the wheel, whole wheelbase wider um, to you know make the car more um, stable around corners you have the front splitter as well uh, side skirts are also different so yeah it's it's not a big deal uh, it's not a big change of exterior wise um, from a distance you might not even notice it anyway at the back of course you you'll see the the cobra again that's i uh, love that logo and uh yeah the the on, only thing that annoys me is that you know the regular mustang owners they change the body kit on their mustang to make it look like a shelby so oftentimes i've just had to take a double look just to check you know is this a mustang or is this a shelby anyway back to the car it's pretty cool and it's here at the ford uh, pavilion at a custom car show so there are too many cars for me to just see just had to show this car to you you know it's just one of the uh, rare ones anyway so if you want to see the video of the mustang mac one there's a separate video i have of the interior as well so do check that out this car has a five liter uh, engine with makes around 480 horsepower so that's a lot less compared to this um, let me know in the comments which one you like